everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part three of Let's Play Crystal Caves, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I'm still in volume one. If you've noticed why I have 5,000 more points than before, that's because a strawberry spawned as soon as I stopped recording part two. And of course, I had to get it. All right, now we're going to do this door. Okay, we got bacon gun right off the bat. And now I disarmed it immediately. Good. Oh, great tadpoles. Wait, was that their threshold? Okay, they don't go beyond here. So I can take advantage of that. Damn it. There's just a limit to where the tadpoles can go, it seems. Whoa. Get a little nearer. Oh, I see a strawberry. I want it! And some ammo, too. Wait a minute, is the maximum 50? Let me double check. Can you get more than 50 shots? Oh yeah, yes you can. Just wanted to make sure. Oh, there's a banana I can't reach. Yet. I'm gonna need a red door and a blue door. I see like a green lever, too. Okay, I'm gonna have to go this way first. Watch out for those little pink nubs. If you get too close, an alien's gonna come over to take a bite out of ya. Just pay attention to your surroundings and we'll do just fine. That's it. I still want to create a pathway so I can't destroy too much. Just enough to make it easy to jump back up whenever I'm done. Die, bats! Was there a spider up here, too? Nope, just a tadpole. Well, an alien tadpole. Now I gotta wait to go back up! So I see the air vacuum. I have to be careful not to shoot it. Another banana that just spawned right where I can't reach right away. Okay, so that's the blue door. But I saw a green switch, too. I wonder if that leads to the red one. I wouldn't be surprised. That would seem like a logical thing for the game to do. So in other words, I have to get past those friggin' minecarts. Like, how do they go on their own anyway? And I think it would take a lot of shots to kill them, so I'm not gonna bother. Anything, I'll just focus on dodging. Besides, if I can get that POW power up, I can use it. And that should take care of the minecarts. Wait a minute, did I need No, yeah, I don't need the red one. The red one's over here. There. Okay, this stretch should be quite easy. I'm gonna wait for that bat to pass, and then it can die! all the crystals, too. So I can finish the level at this point. But why not grab this power-up so I can kill the minecarts? In fact, they're probably gonna be a big hindrance otherwise. No time for that banana, unfortunately. Come on, go left. Thank you. And even though you weren't in my way, I might as well kill you, too. Now all I have to do is just leave and I get my other 50,000. Yeah, I'm almost at a million now. I hope I can get to it. That would be really nice. I don't really remember what my highest score ever was. It had to be around 80,000 or 90,000. So I got five more stages left to do and then I'm done. Let's start down and work our way up. Okay, this could be a little tangly. Uh oh. Get rid of that robot. Oh god, another one! Gotta keep my distance with these guys. When I think of this level, why am I reminded of Mario? I mean, look at the green pipes, especially around the ends. Doesn't that not look like a Mario pipe to you? Well, the upside-down one's probably not. 
But the ones that stick upward, they kind of do. Okay, these guys function like the snakes, and whenever you kill them, they leave their remains behind, and they can actually hurt you if you step on them. So be very careful with that. Most of the times, you don't even have to kill them. Unless they're in a very tight spot. And I almost got screwed over by the corners. So I can't jump through those. Hmm. This looks like a blind jump. Okay, that was just fine. Here, I see the key. Get more ammo. And you get this here unique enemy with big eyes for hands. You gotta take out both eyes before you can actually take out the enemy itself. You can only shoot it when the eyeballs are open. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's see. How am I gonna figure this one out? Can I work my way back up? I should be able to. Come on, where is that enemy? Oh yeah, it shoots range attacks at ya. Oh, yeah, I took a hit. I was trying to avoid taking damage altogether, but I took out one eye. Now I have to take out the other one, too, the exact same way. I cannot go on the side that has no eye at all and just instantly kill it. Ouch! I didn't even see that! So I'm using a lot of my shots here. I'm down to one heart. One more hit, I'm dead, and I gotta do this whole level over. Well, I'll pick up some more money to feel better about my performance. You know, money is a good self-esteem boost in the game. You can be like that in real life, too. Though I'm not a greedy person in real life. I mean, really, I'm not. Okay, let's time this just right so I can get to those green crystals. Those are the last ones I need to get. That was close. Careful. To the last ones. There we go! Ooh, 5,000 points! Since I'm not getting the 50,000, I might as well grab an extra five. So my total's at $917,900. Wow. <laughs> I'm really racking up the dough. I might be able to finish Volume 1 in this video if I keep it up. Okay, let's see. At least I like the red background and some chains. They had a nice touch of design. Let's see. I'm not going to grab that pink power-up or that P yet. Well, let's check my surroundings first, and it looks like I will have the rabbit now. So I got two enemies I need to worry about. Both of them are rocks. Okay, that one doesn't move. That one does. Okay, it does move! It didn't wake up before! Okay, in case I get trapped... I'm going to release a hole over there. That way I can get out. Because if I got trapped, then I would have to give up. Then again, I already explained that before. I'm not going to shoot that other glass one in the corner because it's irrelevant. I already got the key. So now I can focus on getting the crystals. Okay, a lot of crystals around this area. Oh great, the Dongo ripoff is here. Whoa. Okay, I don't want to miss this guy. Because if I hit the air mesh generator, it's going to suck. Luckily, he has a big body. And moves pretty slow. Careful. There we go. All that for 6,000 points. Totally worth it. Okay, I'm not done yet. What am I missing? It's probably to the upper right that I gotta go. Alright, let's go there then. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's right. That's what I needed the green switch for to go this way. Whoa, that spike fell. I got lucky there. I was gonna get hit. Had to kill that enemy, so let's inch down slowly. Okay, at least I know it's safe around here. Oh my god! I can get two shots off of him. There! Now it's dead. So now I have to work my way back. That's it. Move. Alright, I think I'm done the level now. All I have to do is to get to the exit. Pretty awkward way to exit. I mean, it was right against the wall. But it still works. Alright, three more levels. I think we're gonna make it. Okay, speaking of Mario... Whoa, you go really far back! Too bad the low gravity doesn't affect your jumping. Ah, what the hell, let's grab a green mushroom. Whoops, you ate a poison green mushroom. You feel dizzy. Your surroundings fade to black. Your legs start quivering, you flap like a bird. Your hat goes off, and then you die. That's how the death animation in Crystal Caves works. I mean, the low gravity, it affects how far you move back when you shoot. But your jumping is completely unaltered. I find that very weird, but I'm not going to complain. Because if I jump, like, very high up, it'll probably screw me over. Well, seriously, it would. Because you start to forget your own jumping physics. I'm starting to think this really is a reference to Mario. I mean, look, look! Even a pipe is there! I wonder how Nintendo felt about this. I'm sure they had to get permission. At least Apogee did. I mean, they had to to design a level like this. Too bad you can't run into an alien Bowser in this. That would have been pretty funny, too. Careful. Now. Ooh, that was close. I almost got hit. Sadly, the pink mushrooms are just there for decoration and don't do anything. You could have at least make them give you points, too, but that's not the case. Ooh, hydrated water! I mean, hydrated bananas! Ooh, that snake was pretty close to me. I'm going to avoid that instant pit over there, that's a death trap. Because, yeah, there are some bottomless pits. Usually lined with spikes. Oh, I'm at the million mark now! Ah, <laughs> two more levels! Okay, I gotta deal with a bird. Try not to get under it, because it'll shoot eggs at you. And we got this here little security bot. Yeah, I got my two shots off. Can't believe I'm almost done with Volume 1 already. Okay, I can jump over this pit, so I don't need to kill the enemy. I can go, like, lower right first, or go down through the left side. Hmm. Something tells me those spikes are gonna come down. Oh, they both came down! I should have prepared a little bit better, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, jumping like a boss. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to kill those. Whoa, that was close. That one tried to trick me. Ugh! Almost got hit by the bacon taser. Now I have to work my way down. Oh god, I forgot about the spikes! Oh, this is looking pretty dangerous now. If I disarm the spikes, that'll make the rest of this easier. Now I gotta get anti-gravity again. Try not to get hit by that enemy by mistake. Yeah, I'm upside down! What are you gonna do, man? Yeah, I don't wanna go up yet. 
What I'm gonna do is grab the crystals, the ammo. Wait a minute. I see some sparkling over there. That was probably just a graphical glitch. As soon as I walked over, it disappeared. Okay, danger. I gotta be careful with that. So I disarmed that trap. And I got the key. That's how it's done. I gotta remember those spikes, so I'll try to remember that for next time. I should be going back up through this way. Keep that off, because I'm just doing just fine the way it is. No reason for drastic change now. That spike's gonna fall, I betcha. Ooh, cherry! Yep, it fell. Had a range, though. Okay, so I avoided near death again. That's two stages I was down to one heart. And now this is the last level. Okay, green. I, I like that. Green and black. Did I hit the bat? I think I did. Uh, sniper! Sniper Milo! I mean, sure, I have what looks like a pistol, but man, what range! I'm a sharpshooter! With a pistol! Hmm, I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy. My gravity is not affected here. There. I don't think it was necessary to get rid of him, but I had like over 70 shots. It's like I don't want to be a total Scrooge with my bullets. Even though technically there's no turning back, I'm already there. Damn it. I think you can only fire like one shot at a time. So I gotta time my shots carefully and get rid of this guy. There! Okay, I still gotta get to that switch. And I don't have the key yet. I mean, it's really nice. For a game like this, you can do all the levels in any order you want. So you can probably do this as the first stage if you wanted. That's a nice bit of variety. Like, you can do this game in so many different ways. That's what I love about it. I'm not sure it drones on because of the lack of music and the sound effects, but I mean, you can turn those off anytime you want. Whether by muting your speakers or going into the game settings. Let's see, I don't know if you can't... Oh yeah, toggle sound on and off. Just by pressing T, there you go. And you can put in your own music if you want. So I really hope this game does get re-released on a game vendor like Steam or Good Old Gaming. Like, gamers these days should be playing games like this. I'm not saying they have to, but at least have this option of knowing what games before them were like. Well, since I'm pretty close to the end, I might as well get everything. Because, you know, I'm here. I mean, there were more games before them than just, like, Mario, Kid Icarus, Kirby, Yoshi's Island, things like that. There were games like this. I mean, can you blame me for being in a DOS game fix? Because, I mean, these games were amazing back then growing up. Alright, so I should be done now. So that's all the levels in Volume 1. And when you get them all done, you go to this. You collect what you consider to be a fortune in precious crystals, enough to buy you everything necessary to start a twibble farm. Your next stop is the local galactic trading post. I got 713 crystals, which is all of them, and 1.26 million dollars. And the crystals add up to your total as well. So now I got $1,340,450. That's an impressive run. Three months later, poor Milo 
It seems Twibbles breed at a faster rate than he expected. They've overrun the entire planet. Due to their high metabolism, Twibbles eat ten times their weight each day. They even they devour the world's entire food supply. What's worse, the Twibble fat is dead, and Milo's stuck with a planet full of them! Man, that ending just reminds me of some of the Mortal Kombat games where you beat the final boss and your ending is actually you dying. <laughs> it's kind of like that. I mean, poor guy. It's like, what is he going to do with all those Twibbles? Congratulations, but your quest for riches is not yet complete. You will need to fly the Kiwi back to the Perilous Altair system and locate entirely new crystal caves to explore. Will Milo survive his next trip in the rattle trap he calls the Millennium Kiwi? Will he survive the diabolical, uh, diabolical new traps and puzzles that await him? Can he succeed at his new harebrained get-rich scheme? And how will all of this eventually lead to the galaxy's largest burger franchise? Order today and find out. Yay, my score's in the top 10. I'll enter my name, why not? Huh. Oh, they're better than Tim and Chlamydia over there. Those two asses are just about to play all episodes and of Crystal Caves. <laughs> so yeah, that's it with Volume 1. So stay tuned for the next part when I do Volume 2. See ya, everybody.